happy to see this because it's a teenager from Shelbyville in the middle of a trip of a lifetime, traveling through Alaska, driving there, and a converted 1986 Toyota pickup with just his dog for company. He's 18. His name is Lincoln Byrer. He's living his dream on a journey he nicknamed 86 to Alaska, and we caught up with Lincoln recently to talk about his inspiration for this incredible trip. Check it out. Lincoln, this dream to drive to Alaska, I understand started after watching a movie when you were eight years old, and here you are just turning 18. What in the world, tell us about what appealed to you to do this. Um, just a boy with his best friend being his dog and, and traveling the, the state of Alaska and seeing everything there is to see. All right, so you're driving in a 1986 Toyota, I understand, mm -hmm. that you and your dad worked on. How did you even convert it to be able to basically live out of it for all of these weeks? It all comes down to being crafty and, and you know, woodworking skills, which I got from my dad. And quite honestly, he, he built it. I just gave him the idea. Yeah, I want to hear more about this passion and desire from the time you're eight years old. Tell me about this movie and then saying, you know, once you're 17, 18, I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to drive from Shelbyville, Indiana. I'm going to go to Alaska and see Alaska. Um, it, the movie is Call of the Wild. Um, I just, I fell in love with the, the landscape of Alaska. I didn't, I was too young to understand, you know, how far away it was and what, I, what it entailed, but... I, I forgot about it when I was eight, you know, and I, I I started getting older and I was like, man, I'm going to do that. And then I got a truck and everything started falling into place. And it was just my job to make sure I, I worked my butt off to get the money and I asked for all the help I could. And uh, here we are. Tell me where you've been so far. Have you had any setbacks? I mean, you literally <laughs> left Shelbyville when and then when are you coming home or are you? Um, I left july 23rd um and yes I've, I've had some setbacks not as many as i was expecting but um i had a a ball joint failure lower ball joint failure on the truck and i slept in the o'reilly's parking lot oh. for a night i was there for 36 hours until the ball joint came and i replaced it in the parking lot you replaced it yep Eric, and then um yeah as far as coming back um and probably the middle to end of september i'll be back Tell me what has been the favorite thing so far that you've seen. Has it been more than what you thought it would be? And have you had you ever traveled um, out west, if you will, before? Um, I've been to Colorado, but that's I, I flew there and uh, went snowboarding for four days and went home. So I haven't really got to see all this. And my favorite part is actually driving through the mountains. Wow. It's scary. I think it's scary to drive down through the mountains and the switchbacks and you're looking over the edge knowing that you could actually like go over it any time. That's scary. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking too that as a mo mom of two teenagers about your age, I don't know that I wouldn't be, I would be so afraid for them to leave and to do this journey alone. I know you have your dog with you, but what has it been like for your parents and did they want you to seek adventure like this? Um, my, my dad definitely. Um, but my mom has always been a, no matter what your dream and your goals are, I'll, I'll be right there with you. So she may not necessarily agree with it, but she is 100% my number one supporter. Oh, what a cool part of the story. Before we leave you, I want to know when you do come back, I mean, you've had this adventure and you've been you and your dog and kind of just seeing this part of the world. What are you going to do? Do you have plans for life and what comes next? Um, I, I plan to come back and do the the five year apprenticeship with the local 440 in Indy um, to be a, a pipe fitter welder. Um, I've, I've been welding for three years, and that's what paid for this trip. So good to have you with us, and um, just such an adventurous person. And I hope that we inspire others. Nice to have you. Thank you. Yeah, is that not so cool? Lincoln heading to Denali National Park this morning. He should be there by tonight. If you want to follow his journey, we'll connect you to the 86 to Alaska Facebook page at fox59.com slash links. We wish Lincoln safe travels for the rest Absolutely. of this yeah. amazing trip. Imagine Molly comes to you, and it's different maybe <laughs> for being a girl versus guy. I don't know, but it says, Dad, I'm going to go travel and get in my you know vehicle. See ya.
Love the adventure. Yeah. Uh, I love it him. too. I, I would have a lot of hesitation on that, but great How for cool. him. You know, that's awesome. And boy, what a, what an experience, what he's going to learn on the road. Incredible story there. 917,